Andy and I spent the third day of our Japan trip in Takachi on the northern island of Hokkaido. In this video, I'm going to try something kind of new because I've never really utilized voiceover in a video that I've done, mostly because I've always heard that for actual filmmakers, it's a cheap way to tell a story rather than showing the story. But I guess this format is closer to a vlog than an actual movie. And I really want to be able to tell the story and show you and explain some of the experiences that we had on our trip. So we're going to try this out today. So after driving the previous night on some of the worst roads that Andrew and I had ever seen, we camped out in a rest area and then did the final part of the drive this morning. Of course, part of this drive incorporated a trip to the 100 yen store, which included an embarrassing amount of time inside the store. But eventually we made our way to Takashi, ate some lunch at the lodge there, and then got our skis together and headed out on a backcountry mission. We dropped in from the parking lot, skinned our way across a few ridges before we found the most significant terrain features in the area. We got full finger softness on top, and it just continues down full finger. And then it becomes pencil at the bottom. It's, it's the right side up cake, man. That's good. <laughs> so once Andy had dug the pit to check the snow conditions, we began our ascent back up the mountain. The terrain quickly became too steep to continue skinning, so we took the skis off and began bootpacking our way towards the summit. The mountains in the background are obscured by a cloud of sulfur coming up from a volcanic hotspot. That's literally the worst part about being outside in the winter and drinking water. All right. What's that? I thought this would be too. Oh yeah, all right, that'll do, Matt. Come on down. Yeah, dude, killing it. That was cool. Oh, this is awesome, man. Super not, Super not great to just fall off. Ah! You know. Sometimes to get a good shot, you have to look like an idiot. Oh, he's dropping in. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Tokachi, you do a lot of traversing and a lot of lateral movement for not a huge amount of vertical gain and descent. There's really complex terrain, so you always seem to be climbing over one ridge, skiing down the other side, climbing over another ridge, skiing down the other side, and 
this part of the video kind of shows you the traverse after the big descent that we did just to get back to the van. Then it's super disheartening to approach on the final ridge and see the parking lot ahead of you but realize you have to drop down into a gully and then climb or trudge back out to get to the end of your day. But you know at the top of the hill, there's an onsen or a hot spring waiting for you to relax and rest your sore body after a long day in the backcountry. So that kind of helps make it all worth it.